Hi Aries, so welcome to my channel. We're doing your reading. How are you? Welcome, welcome. Before we start, please make sure to check out our amazing, I always thought it's on my right side, it's in my left side. Oh, okay. The crystals for the retrograde. I don't know when they put me in the screen. <laughs> so it's right here. You can see our Mercury retrograde pouch. And of course, this is discounted, not discontinued. <laughs> Half off. Okay, dai, bumili ka na. Kalahati lang presyos. Gina. Okay, so let's begin over here. Um, I have your sidereal chart over here. Remember, um, that's what I do in this channel. I do sidereal. And in the with the tarot, you can watch it with any placement that you see fit. Okay? Because tarot picks up an energy. It doesn't rely on... If we're talking about ascendant, then we have to talk about the degree then, right? <laughs> if we're talking about moon sign, then we have to talk about the nakshatra, right? No, tarot does not work like that. Tarot, you're watching me. I'll see you and I'll pick up your energy. Okay, for everyone who wants to uh, find out what's uh, happening in the future for you, for the Aries, for 2023, make sure to check out already and take advantage of the charts below. For it's also discounted. Okay, so let's see here. Mm -hmm. Oh, we're starting right away. Your first card is Womp Womp Womp, Page of Pentacles. I'm sorry. <laughs> Aries would be so turned off with whoever they're dating right now. They're just confusing, Sal. They're a Page of Pentacles. Cancels last minute. You know, that's what the page would do. Always you will hear them saying sorry. If you go to your phone, that's when you will know. It's like, oh, it's a page. Because the only thing I get from this person is I'm sorry. I'm sorry for this. I'm sorry for that. Because they lack the backbone. They lack the follow-up basically in the, you know, to make a stable relationship. And right now you're, you know, as an Aries, you're confused as the North Node Rahu is in your zodiac. Um, then you find this a little bit like, hmm, do I really want this? Yes, no. But you are a hopeless romantic. People don't know that. Of course, with your seventh house ruled by Venus. But right now, K2 is there. So you feel probably suffocated and you just, I really don't know why this person keeps lingering, you know, and they keep trying to approach me. Well, one, you have Venus in your fifth house. You're going to go combust on 13th and the um, the 16th. Um, when, when we say, um, you know, combust planet, think of it like this, okay? Super Bowl halftime, okay? Beyonce was there, and then Cher. So who will be, okay? So if there you go, and then it's halftime. So who will shine, okay? <laughs> who will shine? Mm. So it's going to be complicated, right? So the thing is, that's why I put the two together, because they're both a star during, you know, I mean, in their time, and they're legends, right? Because Venus cannot be outshined by the sun. This is the only planet that cannot be combusted, they say. Okay, so a lot of people would say that. Uh, but, you know, um, let me just, you know, dive deeper a little bit onto this. Because Venus rules your seventh house. So if it's combust, you know, with the sun, which means it's close. So think of it like, okay, go Beyonce, go share. Okay, <laughs> Super Bowl, everybody's watching. Who will you, Who will you watch, right? So here's a situation, you know, you will get confused, you know, it's like, do I want it? Because, you know, Libra is about equality and, you know, in the partnership and that's your seventh house. So you will feel like, okay, you know, I like them, but eh, maybe not, you know, it's dead, basically. The planet gets combusted, it, it acts like the sun. So your person can be, um, you know, like one-sided right now. It's only about them, never about you, transit-wise, but you have to know your dasha. If you're in Venus Dasha, you will be affected by this, of course. So this is the reason why you're getting the page. It, ha it has a promise, though, for the page to become the king, okay? So you're per... Ooh, but there it is. You know, you're not giving this person a chance for pentacles. So for you, it's just like, I'm not going to give this a chance uh, for pentacles. Now, why is it important to know your chart? Of course, you're going to ask me. Because what if you have a Venus combust? Then we can already see, you know, what's the issue, what will happen to the relationship if Venus is combust? It's too close to the sun. Mm -hmm. Then who will win, basically, right? But there are cancellations. There are a lot of things that can manifest. So right now, Four of Pentacles, you feel like this is uh, this is not serving you, and you deserve better, Ten of Pentacles. So you're holding back from your person because you know you're worth more than this apology. Because you Ten of Pentacles, you work your mother. You know you are the mother here with the Ten of Pentacles. You're abundant. You know, you're able to share your blessings to your family. You take care of everyone. You're loyal with the Ten of Pentacles. You have integrity. You know, you have 
you know, you have uh, what we call like uh, in partnership, you consider them always. You consider everyone also, but this person never considers you. You're always in the back burner. So what you do, if a person puts you in the back burner, I put them in the front burner <laughs> and then I just leave it on. Okay? So let them roast basically. So for you right now, we're not going to talk. Mm -hmm. But the core of the situation is Eight of Wands, which means like you want to have a conversation with them. You want things to move forward, Eight of Wands. Then now, here comes the communication. So breaking of silence with the Four of Pentacles. And then now, Ace of Swords, there it is. But who will break the silence? You? Are you going to accept this message? Are you going to reply? Because that's what the Crosswatcher is asking. Will the Aries reply? Three of Pentacles, well, they're too busy. You know, building their empire, three of pentacles to the ten of pentacles. That's more of your concern right now. Work is more of your concern. Family is more of your concern. Um, the ruler of your um, fourth house, which is moon. Um, right now it's in the twelfth house. You may be planning some vacation. You may be planning of seeing your father. If you are divorcee, then your ex-husband might communicate to you. Um, but this is regards of any kind of litigation, okay? Because Ace of Swords is also documents. So there may be some legal documents that you need to sign if you were married, Ten of Pentacles, to finalize the situation. I'm just looking at your chart. Now, if you're not going to divo uh, through divorce, um, I feel like right now what you're doing with your... Um, it's more of like uh, at home, you're cleansing. You know, it's good for you to do some spiritual practices. Amazing. Hermit, okay, so come back, Aries. Um, your person feels lost right now because you stop responding to them, you stop reacting. And lately, you, ha you are to no avail with the Three of Pentacles. Remember, the goal of the Three of Pentacles is to shine. It's the only pentacle that is not gold. So for you, this is what's consuming your time. And if you want to talk to your person, Ace of Swords with the Hermit, they feel like you're so distant. And K2 in your seventh house is cutting, okay? Which means that it's limiting, you know, you're limiting now the interaction from your person because why? They're useless. But the thing is, this is what you want from them. You wanted them to talk. You wanted them to communicate. And then they're here. So what do you do now? These are behind the scenes. So you will break the silence even though you say, it's like, no, I'm not going to break my silence. Some artists will break their silence already. Some of you guys already have texted this person with the Eight of Wands. And we'll see because your your person is not happy on what the situation is going on. I feel like um, they are aware that you were turned down, that they turn you down. Okay, so let's see what will trigger your person to reach out while you're holding back. And if you guys can be together, Eight of Wands here with the Ten of Pentacles. Do you want them? I feel like for you right now, it's just like you just chill. You know, it's like whatever, you know, you have no expectation much on your person. Mm -hmm. Important to check always the dignity, the strength of Venus. If it's with afflict, you know, is it afflicted? Is it combust? Is it conjunct? You know, so those are important factors in astrology. It's so easy to predict relationship. That's that's I feel like everybody does that um, in astrology. You know, it's so easy. Just people are just lazy to look into their chart. You know, so. Having a chart is like having your passport, your visa, your ID, your driver's license, because it has all your information, uh, except your height, because you lied last time with your height, you know, <laughs> in your driver's license. So here's the grand reveal, Aries. As soon as they message you, what would be your reaction? Will this manifest to be a, you know, the Ten of Pentacles, like a solid relationship? Um, as you guys move forward now, why are they upset? with you because what will you tell them that causes your your person to it can be a virgo to be dissatisfied with your action i feel like um with a hermit card they feel like you lack the sensitivity is what they're saying towards you okay so these are for people who has no contact then because the eight of wands is the core of the situation which means the communication will resume between the two of you okay let me see here we're not done. Make sure to check out everything in the description box below. Okay, here we go. Mm, strength card. So that is the Ace of Swords right there. So someone now, okay, is ready commu to communicate. I feel like the two of you will have this important discussion. Ace of Swords with a strength card. Okay. So someone is courageous enough. Okay. Normally it takes, you know, because if, if your person is the Hermit and they become the Strength Leo right here, then someone is done basically moping. Okay. Because I mean the hermit is like, oh, you know, you left me. The Aries has left me. So you may be getting the blame from your person here. 
Oh, there it is. Ace of Swords. The card will never lie. Mm -hmm. And it will always give the same message, no matter how much, uh, you know, we shuffle. So definitely, um, communication will resume between the two of you. But what I want to know, because I'm a nosy person. Okay. All right. Let's ask, you know, what will be revealed? Mm -hmm. What will be revealed? Mm -hmm. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, that will be revealed. Well, there will be a revelation of, like, I feel like different opinions between each other about how to settle the situation. Mm -hmm. The two of you will not agree. Mm -hmm. Something that will cause even more turmoil is about to manifest, especially Mercury is in retrograde, right? Ruler of your third house and your sixth house. So your decision making is a third. So there will be conflicts with regards to how you want to decide on this and how they want to decide. It takes two to tangle. Mm -hmm. So fives is conflict. So issues will come to surface. Um, you're trying to um, have clarity with them. You're trying to enlighten the situation, but it feels like it be it becomes more complicated. Aries, it really does become more complicated because you will find out the truth with the seven of swords. So your person with the seven of swords has been lying to you and then now you find out the truth. I don't know what they're lying about, but we shall find out because that's the whole issue here. That's the reason why you guys are not together. They hid something from you. You were open to this because Ace of Swords is here. You know, it's like, okay, let's have an honest conversation. But then you'll find out something about them. Okay. So, link down there in the description box below for everything that you need. The charts, the Mercury Retrograde, it's down there. And of course, our Retrograde shirt. Thank you very much, Iris, for watching. I'll see you guys again. Bye.